The economic free fall left a lot of people woozy, to say the least. Even though there are signs of improvement, recovery is still a long way away, especially for those who have the least. But there is some help to be had. Joining us with more, Terry Lee Freeman, president of the Community Foundation for the National Capital Region. Good morning. Good morning, Allison. Tell us about the foundation still. Been, been around for some uh, 38 years. Yes, the Community Foundation was established in 1973, and we really are a place where people who are interested in giving in this community can come, learn more about what's going on, they contribute money through the Community Foundation, and then we make grants out to those who need it the most. So we have about $320 million in assets, and we granted this year about $75 million to nonprofits throughout the region and throughout the country, actually. You make it easy, one-stop shopping, yes, if you will, for yes. if people want to come and give. Exactly. Okay, and you have a new initiative now because uh, we said it in the introduction yes man it's hard to put food on the table for some families people have lost right. jobs people are just suffering right now right. but there's still a need for those who really need a little bit more yes. than the average person yeah you know the news has been that we're in economic recovery but for the folks who really don't have jobs don't right. have homes there is no economic recovery and so they lean very heavily on nonprofit organizations that provide those safety net uh, services. So what the Community Foundation has done is establish this Neighbors in Need Fund through the generosity of uh, the World Bank that actually gave us the first gift. And since that time, we've raised about $3 million and made grants to nonprofits throughout the region of about $1.2 million. Uh, wonderful work. We were seeing pictures there of people in the communities. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us just about some of the groups that have benefited from Neighbors in Need. Well, we've uh, we funded organizations from as far away as Lorden, Virginia, to uh, in Maryland, Aquasco, Maryland, and they serve food programs, hunger programs in the district. There are about 633,000 people estimated, I'm sorry, throughout the region that are hungry, believe it or not, right. in this country, uh, 633,000. So we're funding hunger organizations. Bread for the City would be one. We're focusing on homeless shelters. In Street Village would be another one. In Silver Spring, there's an organization called Impact Silver Spring that is working with uh, residents on homeless issues, foreclosure prevention which is a huge yes. issue mm -hmm. and in Prince George's County we funded an organization called seed that actually provides counseling around foreclosure um, uh, uh, situations and they were serving some 300, 400 people with three counselors. Mm -hmm. That's virtually impossible to right. do. So we were able to help them fund some additional workshops through their grant that they received. We, we just made 37 grants, so it's hard to name every mm -hmm. organization, sure. but they are represented throughout the entire region. What can we do? Well, you can contribute to the fund. The Neighbors in Need Fund is still collecting gifts. In fact, we are launching a $2 million campaign. Uh, we would like to raise those dollars by the end of next year, actually. And we would like individuals to contribute what they can. No gift is too small. When you put them all together, they end up equaling quite a bit. And it can be done through our website, uh, www.thecommunityfoundation.org, O-R-G. Any contribution can help because there are people out here who are suffering and, and they hear the news about recovery, but they don't see any recovery for themselves. Well, we appreciate you being here with us. We will put all that information on our website, myfoxdc.com. Terry you. Lee Freeman, president of the Community Foundation. Continue your good work. Thank you, Allison. Okay, Tony, to you.